What's up everyone? I am trying to do something very new here for the first time ever. I wanted to do a reaction video. I wanted to react to a Dying Light 2 video and this has been uh, a pretty good one. has a lot of details by Best Gamer Ali. He brings, uh, he brings forth a lot of good content for this game. Um, so you definitely should check out his content if you don't already know about it. I would be surprised. Anyways, let's start. Alright. Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another Dying Light 2 video. So on 31st of Jan 2023, Techland did a live stream celebrating the first anniversary for Dying Light 2. And during that stream, they talked about the upcoming content for this game. So in this video, we'll be talking about just that. Also, you might have noticed that my voice is a bit messed up and I sound different. Well, that's because I'm actually really sick and I've been sick for more than a week now. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying and if you can't, well, you can use the subtitles if I'm not clear due to my sickness. And yeah, as always, for everything well, Dying Light 2, do, do better, subscribe bro. to this channel. Now, talking about the future updates. Since the last time I talked about it, where I mentioned the DLC 2 and I showed you guys some early gameplay footages, DLC a lot two. has Here changed since then. The name of the DLC, few quests, and some of the stuff that we can talk about later in this video. Now, the first thing. Techland has brought us a new roadmap. Have a look at it. So, in April... All right, guys, we got a roadmap. Let's read it. All right. So we got April, we got June. I was expecting August as well. And I'm guessing we're just going to get a minor, uh, probably a minor patch in, in August where they probably just like, you know, fix bugs and stuff like that. But here, combat physics and brutality upgrade. That's really good. As always, TGG quest, we're going to find out what that is. And gear transmog. Everybody wanted gear transmog. So that's a welcomed addition for sure. Um, in June, parkour flow improvements, also welcomed. And the most important right here. In April of 2023, we'll be getting combat physics and brutality upgrade. Meaning we're going to have more dismemberment and gore. Then people who come... More dismemberment, uh, more dismemberment and gore is something I've asked for since they introduced it in one of the events where like, where you had to run around and dismember a shitload of zombies. And I'm like, they should never remove that, just keep it on, like, you know, where you have a higher chance of dismembering your enemies. So um, I think they're going to do that. They're going to make it permanent. You're going to have the same effect that you had during the zombie uh, event that dismembering event i forgot what it was called uh and i'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing so that's, that should be fun Claimed that swinging a weapon is not satisfying in dying light 2. I find well it those satisfying. people will now be happy because it's going to change i mean it can be better for sure but i still find it satisfying and now each weapon will have different impact to it along with the physics that plays out and finally, don't forget the change is not just limited to weapons. Next, the same month we'll be getting some Techland GG quest for Dying Light 2. Well, as the name says, it's some quest that one person can pick from Techland GG website and earn itself some rewards that only unlocks after reaching a certain level. Alright, um, I do not do any of the quests. I have not done any. I'm still like a level 1 on their website. I'm not planning on doing any. Like, um, I'm going to be doing too many games. I'm not going to be like putting all my focus on this game i will be focusing on this game but not only in this game so if you're into those quests tell me what are the rewards what have you done so far that's you know made it worthwhile and should i start doing it too sound off in the comments below and maybe i'll start doing it one day and finally the same month we'll be getting a new gear transmog system meaning you'll a new transmog system uh, be able to equip whatever gear you want but you will we'll have an option later. to choose which skin to wear in short i could be wearing a tank set but my outfit would look like i'm wearing a half healer and a brawler honestly it could be whatever you want this allows you to create your own outfit and it's a very cool feature now moving on in june of 2023 this is the month when techland will drop an update that brings in roaming volatiles and overall a new night experience this is the, the juicy players. part here we go i mean it's not that hard to understand we're gonna see volatiles easily now as they will be roaming around the city during the night time 
Now when they say we're gonna be getting a new night experience, well that's hard to make a sense of. It could be anything cool or overall nothing. I mean we could have volatiles now who start a chase and we could see more special infected on the streets rather than only seeing them during a legendary encounter. Okay, if they want to make it scarier, um, I would say, of course, have roaming volatiles, sure, increase, you know, just the density of virals, just everything except for the normal mobs, because they're not that scary, so just like, you know, give us more things, add more demolishers and goons at night, Put scatter them around, don't make them just part of fucking, you know, night encounters, uh, you know, those elite encounters, no, just leave them around all over the place and make sure they always drop good fucking weapons. Give us a reason to farm them, because right now there is no good reason to farm them. You're better off farming volatiles if you want mutation samples and trophies they should guarantee a legendary weapon let's say the goon is a guaranteed um slashing weapon or blunt weapon while the other one is a guaranteed slashing weapon so like each mob has um you know you can target farm one of those mobs or one of those zombies to get the item that you want or the weapon you want i think that would be really good because right now, I barely, I never do nightly encounters unless I'm just going to record it for you guys. It's just, it's a waste of time. You use resources, it takes longer, and they give you nothing at the end. Nothing in comparison to farming during the day. Or, you know, you do the fucking renegade encounters and those are so much better. They're way more rewarding than this, uh, than the night ones. But what can we do? We'll see. I really hope that they make... Um, and they need to add more tyrants as well. They need to fucking have tyrants roaming around. Shouldn't be volatiles roaming around. Should be tyrants roaming around. Or at least they should introduce a nightmare mode where, you know, volatiles are switched out with night uh, with the fucking tyrants. The roaming ones. And that other zombie, the one that you... The GRE anomaly, what was it called again? Forgot. But that one should come out as well at night. It should not be restricted to a GRE anomaly area. So I hope they fix that. And they really make it that much scarier. They make it darker. They make it rain at night so it's even harder to see. And they do all these kind of crazy things that really make the game exciting and scary. But I'm not sure. Well, only time will tell. Anything is possible and Techland said themselves they want to make the nighttime more scary and difficult. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Next, the same month we'll be getting some parkour flow improvements. Now, That's we have talked good. about this before. The flow of parkour in Dying Light 2 is not consistent. So you'll true. be running fast as Sonic in the game, doing jumps and all kinds of parkour moves, but the moment you do another move or grab a rope or a ledge, you will end up killing that momentum and you will slow down instantly. That's because everything you do works based off an animation. That's why you could wall run and still go on even though there's no wall there. The animation is literally playing there. Yeah, so all this happens so because of Techland stupid. putting too much emphasis on animations rather than physics. So this update will fix these problems. I Next, really and probably so. the biggest announcement of that day. Later in 2023, Techland will officially drop the DLC 2 for Dying Light 2. Now I cannot wait to see what this part is all about. Because this is the biggest, most anticipated DLC or any sort of content that, you know, the game has made or is making since Dying Light 2 came out. So it's going to come out apparently towards the end of this year. So that's almost two years after the game released, a year and nine months. That's a long ass time to get a DLC. I know it's the second one, but the first one I'm not even going to count it as a DLC. That should have been like a free update for everyone. A new story expansion. But hold on, a lot has changed and it's for the good. Because if you remember, I talked about this DLC a month ago and a lot of people didn't like it. Plus, it had a lot of plot issues. So looks like Techland took some notes and actually implemented the changes. So the first thing they changed is the name of the DLC. See, previously Why? the DLC 2 was called 
called Blood Diamond. Okay, I've heard something about Blood Diamonds. Um, some people said it was racist because, you know, how people get Blood Diamonds from Africa and all that. And number two, people said it was stupid. Because, like, I don't want to go around fucking collecting those damn crystals. I mean, this is what they're talking about. I know what Blood Diamonds is. I've read some, like, just a few things about it before when they thought about it. And, like, uh, like, let's hear. He knows more about it than I do. I just know it's about, like, collecting crystals. That's all. The reason for that was because the story of DLC revolved around crystals, which there could be go. considered a diamond during a zombie apocalypse. Now, right. if you play the game and focused on the story, then you would know how important the crystals are in the game. All right, I understand how important they are in the game because apparently it should like slow down the zombie infection or whatever. But like the only good thing about it was like. You know, an expensive, valuable that you can sell for a lot of gold. Like, it was n never actually useful in anything else than selling. It was like a vendor item. It was as valuable as, you know, a fucking phone that you find in the game. Like, those sell really high as well. So, I'm glad they changed it from that. Because I don't want to run around farming fucking crystals as part of a DLC. I mean, people will kill for it. So DLC. I will kill myself if they release a DLC that revolves around fucking collecting crystals. Who was originally that? Hence the Blood Diamonds name. But this has now changed to something completely different. It's called New Frontier. Yes, Dying Light Two: New Frontier is the next DLC. Right. Now, why is it so special that than nice. Blood Diamonds? Well, because this DLC actually continues the story of Dying Light Two. All right, so what he's trying to say here is Blood Diamonds was going to be pretty much like Bloody Ties. I think they changed from Blood di blood Diamonds to Bloody Ties because I think that is the, that's like the kind of size that you would get. You know, it was going to be a small thing in a small area and you just, just like Bloody Ties. It would have been dumb, but it would have revolved around collecting crystals instead of doing... Um, fucking missions or whatever the fuck they were calling them. So you guys remember Aiden leaving Villador, right? Well, his future adventures and whatever happens after that will take place in the New Frontier DLC. That's really it's an good. expansion DLC that continues the canon story and this is just amazing because the last time we talked about this DLC too, it had a different story that involved the underwater diver who used to collect crystals. Honestly, all DLCs paid T DLCs, all right. All paid DLCs should continue the main story, and they should add new locations, big locations that you can go and explore, and you know, discover new items and new enemies and, and new mechanics and everything. A paid DLC should never be a, some tiny ass piece of crap that is you know not satisfying in any form or way and just makes your player base talk shit about you more than anything else i honestly have a lot of respect for techland for making this huge change me too honestly they need to realize what the player base wants what they're looking for instead of just trying things that nobody wants it's like with the bloody ties, like nobody asked for that. Nobody asked you guys to give us some dumb little events. So we're running around like it's fucking, what was the other show called? I forgot that they had on Netflix where like, you know, people are like killing each other, trying to win some money and shit with some like Korean, uh, some Korean, what was it called? Squid Game. You know what I mean? It felt like a zombie squid game with like... I was like, nobody wanted that. Not a single person asked for it. But still, they did it. They didn't care. So I'm glad that they're, you know, changing their mind, their mindset. And they're trying to give us what we're actually, you know... There's a lot of things that Techline is adding to this DLC that was not there before. For example, we're getting a new faction in this DLC, and this was found by the data miners, literally the day the anniversary patch rolled out. 
Okay, that makes sense. A new faction, you're going to a new location, and there's a new faction there. It makes a lot of sense. So, let's see if there's any information about this faction. So, a new faction is coming out, plus the Freaks of Nature from the following DLC will be back in the DLC too. So, if you guys love those Freaks of Nature, what well, you're going to love this one too. Now, I still haven't revealed that one thing that's going to make some people go crazy for this DLC. So, that? be ready. Dying Light 2 New Frontier DLC is officially adding guns to the game. Uh, like, I don't really care about guns that much. I never used them in Dying Light 1. I tried them out here and there, but I was always a melee type of person, and I plan on doing so here. But hey, if you're in a really tough situation, then maybe, you know, maybe I'll pull out the gun and start shooting where, like, it doesn't matter. I just hope the guns are not too OP. And no, I'm not joking. I got literally proof for that. The first would be Timon's McTala, the franchise director who teased people about the new way of killing infected. Oh, and one last thing. You're my ragamuffin. If you would like to fight the infected using other means than melee combat, you should be quite satisfied with one of the additions to Dying Light to stay human we are currently preparing. All this and more will enrich your playthrough in 2023. Well, after hearing that, everybody thought it could be a lot of things but what gave it away was the leftover files in the game and like what kind of guns are they going to be like guns from dying light one or are they going to be guns that are like you know like you make yourself and like you know you can only shoot a few bullets before it breaks down and shit like you know those jimmy rig crap um or is it going to be like a professional like actual like m16 and like real guns you know military grade shit so the data miners did their job and found two different codes for new weapons that could be part of the new frontier dlc the weapons are called frontier pistol and frontier shotgun both of which have been added on the public demand all right it's just gonna be a pistol and a shotgun that's really smart they don't introduce too many guns and like it's a shotgun like maybe bullets are hard to come by or something but people are just gonna like fucking duplicate them anyways uh let's see people who love guns in a video game will surely appreciate this i mean it's a good freaking start also according to timon we'll be seeing some familiar faces in the dlc too so the question is who could that be could that be kyle crane brecken lena or kyle maybe guys i know everybody must be thinking of these names but i feel like it's actually gonna be the twin brothers because let's not forget the last time we heard from tolga and fatin was on the radio when they thought they were talking to liquidator and while they started spilling the beans they started mentioning a car they're working on plus they even mentioned the region where they'll be waiting for him it was the b613 region so can this new dlc be that very region is timon indirectly talking about these brothers well, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. No, I'm not and really finally, sure. do not to forget honest, that this is not sure an ordinary DLC. It's a story expansion DLC just like the following. It's a big map, a totally new location with new enemies including a new zombie called Stalker that will be inside the water. Okay. Stalker inside the water? Hold now on. we don't know what it will look like, but we all know that it will hunt you under the water or in places like this. What the hell is this? Like a snake zombie? It's like snake shaped, it looks like. It's like a, it's not a human zombie, it's not like a humanoid, human shape. Okay. I'm sorry, but here I kind of have to say that this is dumb as fuck. Why? Who enjoys water activities in this game? Who enjoys doing sunken fucking mili military airdrops? Does anyone enjoy going into the water and having to lockpick shit in the middle of the water? Now imagine on top of like worrying about your goddamn breath and all that shit. There's gonna be a zombie that's gonna be following you. Like, you, we are completely useless in water. We can't use our grappling hook, we can't punch, we can't run, we can't shoot, we can't do anything. So we're pretty much just gonna be prey in the water. Like, there is no chance of fighting back unless they're gonna introduce a new mechanic where, like, I can, like, I don't know, give me something that can make me fight back. Seriously, I do not want to get in the water. I hate getting in the water in this game. 
without any fucking creatures being in the water. So to me, uh, this is not a positive thing. This is a negative thing. Unless they play it right and they make it really interesting somehow, which I doubt they're going to nail that, then maybe. But I really do not understand why the fuck they would do this. And I really hope that this new map is not full of fucking water and then you realize you're swimming half of the fucking game just running away from monsters. They have to understand that we, we're we not night swimmers, we're night runners, and we want to become night fighters. We want to fight the zombies. Please stop making us run for our fucking lives. So pathetic. So guys, that's everything coming this year in 2023 for Dying Light 2. Almost the whole year is very low on the content side, but I'm pretty sure the DLC 2 will cover for it. I'm I really excited so. for the DLC now because of all the changes they have implemented and the things they have shared. Me too, I'm so excited, I'm being positive for this year and I wish Teclan all the best for this I DLC. I don't know. Wish for all I know, it could be too. a game changer or a game killer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe and stay human. Well, everyone, thank you. Um, sh big shout out to uh, Best Gamer Ali again. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to where I got this video from, and you guys should go check it out yourselves if you want, but or at least subscribe to him because he brings a lot of good content for Dying Light 2, a lot of useful stuff, things about mods and all that. So make sure you go check out his content, anyways. This is pretty much the end of it. I already shared my opinion throughout the video, so I don't really have much to add. I'm just kind of glad, and I am hyped as well myself about this, but I'm trying not to be too optimistic and too hopeful, because when you do that and then things don't go the way you expect, uh, it's gonna hurt twice as much, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep my expectations low, I'm gonna, you know, expect the worst, but hope for the best kind of situation. That's that's what I'm going through right now. Um, I think they should have focused more on new zombies, because, like, he said there's a new zombie in the water, but, like, nothing about new land zombies except for the freaks. I don't know if freaks are enough in a whole new fucking uh, DLC that is, like, it's pretty much an expansion. That continues the story and all that. I think that would have been a very good opportunity to add some new land zombies. Things we can fight. So I'm not sure why they did this. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of time for them to, like, you know, introduce things and, you know, take things out and just readjust their plan. And until they show more um just more videos of what they're working on how the gameplay is what the new monsters are like and all that i really cannot say anymore so i'm gonna end it here and we're gonna have to be patient and uh i said april so that's like in a month from now a month or something they're gonna have an update and we're gonna see how that one goes and from there i'll have another video um covering that stuff but for now, I'm going to start making more um, reaction videos where I just react to, you know, games that I'm playing. It's going to be Elden Ring, it's going to be Dying Light 2, and there's going to be, I don't know, it might be even a bunch of other games that we try out, like reviews and all that. Um, it just makes it easier for me right now because I do not edit. I work alone. I do not have anyone helping me at all. I have no experience, so I'm going to be doing it like this for the time being until i reach a certain amount of subscribers and i take this more professionally anyways everyone thank you all so much for watching like comment subscribe and i'll catch you all next time take care peace